What's going on everybody and welcome back to Too Much Tech and in today's video we're going to be unboxing the Rocat Vulcan 122A Amo 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 I don't know. The Rocat 122 low profile brown tactile switch keyboard and honestly I've been eyeing this keyboard for probably two-ish years at this point. I just never picked it up. I don't know why. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, I was curious. I have yet to try a low profile keyboard myself and I thought that this one would be a great place to start. I uh, also picked up another low profile keyboard. We'll talk about that at the end of the video, but I'm uh, gonna do a separate video on that one as well. But yeah, this one I was interested in. You'll figure, you know, why not do an unboxing? I don't think I'm gonna do a full review because quite frankly, I don't really have a ton of time and uh, end of the month and it's kind of busy for the kid so i'm gonna do quick first impressions quick review we're gonna go over the software i'm gonna play a couple games not you know on uh not on camera but i'm gonna play a couple games see what i think of the switches and how they perform for gaming and i'll give you kind of some closing thoughts like a quick review and just real quick honest thoughts and me just telling you guys you know do i personally think that this keyboard is worth buying so it has the rocat Titan switch, it is tactile. I don't know if that means that it's gonna be clicky or silent tactile because you can get tactile switches that are clicky or tactile. Speed, Vulcan registers commence 20% faster than the industry standard. Durability, sturdy dust proof switches and anodized aluminum top plate, which always honestly drew my eye every time I seen this keyboard. And then the illumination as well. So uh, we'll download the Rocat software and look at all the different illumination effects as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and check this thing out. We just reviewed actually the uh, the Kane 120 or 220 or something like that not too long ago. And that was actually a really good mouse, especially for, um, for the price. Probably one of the better wireless mice and like really, really comfortable. It was a little bit on the heavier side, but it was nonetheless a very good mouse. Why is this plastic giving me such a hard time? Does it have adjustable feet? It's got these little rubber grips right here. One step of height adjustability, which is cool. If it doesn't have at least one step, you know, that's kind of a, kind of a bummer. Let's go ahead and peel this plastic piece. Definitely not clicky. I would say these are tactile and quiet see here so we got a couple stickers quick start install you know this this is an unboxing video let's just go ahead and uh, get right into this stuff because honestly this unboxing that, that was kind of boring that was that was real quick there wasn't really much in the box some stickers Disposal information, I guess, if you want to throw it away. I mean, what? Quick start installation guy, ash black and arctic white. Let's see here. Is this a poster or a quick start guide? I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is basically uh, the back of the box. So, all right, I'm just going to go to Rocad's website and download their software because... It's kind of what we need at this point. Feels good. We'll do a full proper typing test in a minute, but I like this so far. Got an FX button. Ooh, nice and tactile, nice sound. Volume, FX, mute, some knob of some sort. One thing I will say off the bat that I don't like is this is a full size keyboard, so it is pretty massive. I wish that this keyboard um, was a bit smaller i really do i wish they had a 10 keyless version i feel like that would be perfect and um yeah maybe include like some of this stuff like either down here or up here or whatever i just feel like there's a lot of unutilized space this aluminum top this aluminum top plate is cool though like this feels cool to the touch but even though this is a low profile keyboard it's big and it feels bigger than it has to be so i'm not necessarily the biggest fan of that what the heck okay i never use a keyboard that made like you know like different sounds and stuff like that this is different like you got a few different sound effects that you can do you got 
typing, like a typewriter, a click. I haven't tried that one yet. This beam, that's different. Sci-fi, that's, that's what it is now. And then this is the beam. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> and a typewriter. That's annoying. A click. Yeah, I would, I would never use that. Volume all the way down, turn that off. <laughs> all right, that that's, that's cool, don't get me wrong, but a mechanical keyboard already makes noise. So like, I'm, I'm cool with whatever noise the Switch makes. So we don't really have to add to that and add double noise. Ugh. All right, so let's go through the available RGB effects that are on the Roquette Vulcan. We got the wave effect going here. Then we've got the snake effect. And then we've got fully lit. And down here you can change like the different themes of the keyboard. Like if you want to change the color, you can change the color. The only thing I don't like is that you don't really have like a preview where you can just click it, but you have to uh, hit apply every time. But it's not necessarily that big of a deal. So this is the heartbeat mode. Let me change this you know, to like a pink or something so it shows like a real heartbeat, eh? See, that's pretty cool. This, it, it kind of seems like it's got a lot going on, but yeah. And then breathing 2.0 is like a lung. The fade effect, let's try it on the slowest speed. That's cool, I mess with that. Ripple. Is it circular? Yep, circular. And then you can do a custom configuration and all that stuff, which I kind of figure most of them nowadays you can do like a custom thing, even like on the ducky too, like you can do a custom RGB uh, effects and all that stuff. But the software overall um, is okay. I mean, the only cool thing I've seen was the typing feedback, but it's not really that cool because I would never use it. You do have profiles you can set up up here through your uh, your FRO. So you can set up maybe if you want to set up different profiles for games or if you have more than one person in the house that likes different hotkeys and macros and stuff like that. Or if you're using like a different game or a different program and you want to set up your hotkeys. To get into the game mode, you hit function and you hit scroll. So, all right, that's cool. Let's play some games. So we played some games with the Roquette Vulcan and I got some thoughts. Oh, we did a typing test too. Let's talk about the typing experience first. So I don't mind the sound of the key switches. I think they actually sound pretty decent too. These aren't like Cherry MX Browns or Gatorons Browns. These are Roquette's own Titan mechanical switches. And the housing is different too. So you can't use custom keycaps, unfortunately, but this is a low profile keyboard. So more than likely you were probably just planning on using the keycaps that come with this keyboard anyways, because you want to take advantage of the low profile. Now, with that being said, um, 
the switches are actually pretty big. Like they're, they, to me, they look like they're the same size as like a regular switch. And just the keycap is quite a bit slimmer. It looks like a laptop keyboard, but you got like quadrupled the travel of a laptop keyboard as well. Like it looks like it would be, you know, short throw travel, but the travel is actually quite a bit long. It's just the keycap is a bit shorter, but it doesn't feel abnormal to me. And so the adjustment period that you would have to go through going from like going from like an MX style keycap to this kind is not really that bad. It wouldn't take you that long. Problem that I have with this keyboard more so than anything is just the size. Just being a full size keyboard, I'm not really the biggest fan of full size keyboards anymore. And I found myself running out of space on my mouse pad when I was playing games. Like, let me move it over right here. You know, I'll be playing game and then boom, run right into the keyboard and it is just really, Annoying that you know there is no tank keyless version that's an option because I feel like that would be a cool keyboard to have is a tank keyless version of this keyboard because I think this one the design is actually not bad like it looks good to me except for these two screws up here I don't know why but I, I don't know maybe if they were in the corners instead of like two screws by themselves off to the left or if they were like mixed between the keycaps that would probably be kind of hard you would need much much smaller screws but yeah these two screws they look kind of random not gonna lie that's one ding about the design i don't know why those are there whatever but it's not really uh the end of the world i just feel like it should have like one here and one there and that would have been good and then um the cable unfortunately is not removable it is a fixed cable so you can't use custom cables with this this keyboard is a bit older and it hasn't been updated yet so i will give it a pass for now but the next version that they come out with they better absolutely have a removable usb type c cable the construction is pretty much all plastic but you do have this aluminum top plate up here as well then you got a magnetic wrist rest right here this wrist rest is not bad it's a pretty good angle and i do find that this wrist rest is comfortable i do think that i would personally use it using it without the wrist rest is not bad too so you can be comfortable either way it just depends on whatever you're used to but if you need the wrist rest just know that uh it is there it comes in the box it's free it doesn't cost you any extra and it works pretty good and finally the gaming experience on the Rocat Vulcan the gaming experience is pretty decent but like I said it's just a bit too big with this keyboard being full size if you're looking for a full size keyboard I would definitely say get it if you're looking at you know a budget lower cost low profile keyboard because this keyboard typically is about 120 bucks on either Best Buy or Amazon or whatever even Rocat's website they have a sale for 120 bucks right now too so that's what I've been seeing this keyboard priced at. Honestly speaking for about the past couple years, maybe that's why I hadn't picked it up because it just kind of seemed a little too big for me or expensive. But if they had a tank keyless version, even if they don't update it and they just re-release a tank keyless version and charge, you know, a hundred bucks, I think that's actually a pretty good deal because even though the build is mostly plastic, it still feels pretty premium. And I like that a lot about it. It doesn't feel cheap. The only thing that I could say kind of feels cheap is maybe the wrist rest. Other than that, the bottom of the keyboard I'm not really touching, so I'm not really complaining you know, that it's plastic. This aluminum top plate feels very nice. It's brushed aluminum, and there's ridges and everything. Like it's not a plastic piece that's painted to look like aluminum. Like this is this is real. And then the keycaps, I wasn't disappointed using the keycaps either. A low profile keyboard, this is actually a pretty good deal. Also guys, be sure to subscribe. Here's another reason. We also ordered the G915 10 key list. Basically the, uh, the fixed version of this keyboard and also wireless and a bit more premium and twice as expensive unfortunately it's about 100 bucks more but still a lot of money is it 100 bucks more or 120 bucks more it might be twice as much but i ordered the linear switches and i got the clicky switches so i'm not necessarily thrilled about that but um yeah we'll check out the g915 and uh see what we think of it and uh yeah go ahead and review it but all right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. If you are new to the channel, join the Discord if you want to hear about other product reviews that I have coming up soon. Uh, we got a ton of keyboard content on the way. Manufacturer keyboards from big names and big brands and smaller custom keyboard mech type stuff because I got a ton of switches in too. So we're going to be doing a ton of switch sound tests and after modding them and stuff like that. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next video.